Now, let's go to the US now. And the White House has described comments by Donald Trump about NATO as appalling and unhinged. He said he would encourage Russia to attack NATO members who don't meet their financial obligations to the Western military alliance. NATO members have agreed to spend 2% of their GDP on defence. Mr Trump made the comments during an election campaign rally in South Carolina on Saturday. Take a listen. NATO was busted until I came along. I said, everybody's going to pay. They said, well, if we don't pay, are you still going to protect us? I said, absolutely not. They couldn't believe the answer. They asked me that question. One of the presidents of a big country stood up and said, well, sir, uh, if we don't pay and we're attacked by Russia, will you protect us? I said, you didn't pay? You're delinquent? He said, yes, let's say that happened. No, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. You got to pay. You got to pay your bills. Well, earlier I spoke to Dr. Patrick Bury, a defense and security expert at the University of Bath and former NATO analyst. I asked him for his analysis on Mr. Trump's comments. You know, Trump is speaking to his base here. Uh, what, you know, we could call maybe the internet angries. And I've been engaged, I'm a veteran myself, I've been engaged with US veterans on this. And the, the level of anger amongst them, normally when, you know, you've been in a, an allied military, there's a, a good deal of respect and, and joviality. The level of anger amongst some of these uh, US veterans about the fact that uh, NATO is not paying its way or many nations aren't paying its way is quite extreme. Uh, and I think in, in some ways Trump is, is playing into his base and he's just regurgitating what makes him angry. Um, but so it, it does have an impact. And there's a, a real worry, I think, emerging in NATO about this fact. One, Russia has put its economy onto a war footing and it's increasing its capability relative to the rest of Europe. OK, and in three to five years, there is now uh, an unlikely worse course of action, but still a, 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 a course of action leading that way where Russia would keep going after Ukraine. Yeah, okay. especially if Trump was in the White House uh, and there was a split within NATO about either over Ukraine and should it respond or about how would it respond to, say, a small incursion, which should, in theory, uh, trigger Article 5. So I think that's really where the NATO alliance is, wor is worried, is are, are these what-ifs. There's now an emerging path where things could get really quite serious.